My name's Chris, and I'm a grateful believer of Jesus Christ. Um, when I was a kid, I was molested. That drove me to alcohol. I found alcohol in my life. It took the pain away. So when I woke up in the morning, the pain was there, so I started to drink more. Um, it led me down the path of a gay lifestyle. That caused a lot of pain, a lot of um, unhealthy relationships. Alcohol just seemed to be my savior, my God actually is what it was. During my life of drinking, my lifestyle, um, I thought the easiest way was to end my life and commit suicide. Um, I tried several times unsuccessfully, thank God. <laughs> um, I was actually to the point where they put me in a mental institution to get my mind right. My niece came up to live with me from California and she is a drug addict. And one day she came up to me, she was living with me, and she said, you know, Aunt Chris, there's a program at Calvary Baptist called Celebrate Recovery. And she goes, would you go with me for support? And I said, why not, let's go. You need the help, let's go, let's do this. So I went and I was sitting there and the leader at that time, I just, I felt uncomfortable at first, but I noticed when I was sitting there, how excited I actually was to be there. And I wanted to be, I wanted to be happy. And I knew they had the answer. I went to other programs and they didn't have the answer. It was always higher power. Here we know what it is, it's Jesus Christ. I went to support her and come to find out I'm the one that needed the help. And I think that's where God tried to change me, saying, hey, uh-uh, you need the help, not her. Stop trying to fix other people when I'm doing that myself with you. I've been three years sober now, thanks to my sponsor. I've met great friends in, in this church. God's also convicted me about my sexuality. Um, I lived a gay lifestyle for 20-something years. Um, and now God's told me that, hey, this is wrong and you got to change. So I have been two years of living the life that God wants me to live. And Celebrate Recovery did that for me. It helped me work through things that I would have never known how to work through is now I can grieve without drinking, or I can grieve my past of being molested without drinking. And the family that I have now in Calvary is wonderful. I never thought my life would be this way, ever. Um, since I was a kid, I never had a safe place. But now I can come to my home. This is my home. I come from abusive family, molestation, sexual activities, drinking, to who I am today. And I can't wait to see what's next in my journey. If it's helping other people, if it's continuing to go on in CR. Being free with the chains and, and broken. When I started this journey, I hated myself. I hated looking at myself in the mirror, but now that I'm free and God loves me and I know he loves me, I love myself. I, lo I don't care if I'm 900 pounds. I don't care if I'm, it doesn't matter because I know God loves me for who I am, not what I look like. And that is why we take this journey.